Sorry I'm late for work, boss. I uh, was running a little bit late. Well, you should never run late. Sorry, this isn't my briefcase either. What is it? It's a waffle maker! Ta-da! <laughs> yes, this, <laughs> ladies and gents, hello. Uh, is my waffle maker. I bought this about a year ago. Uh, I have already turned it on about half an hour ago to get rid of that initial smoky smell. Don't want to go that way, do we? No. Uh, <laughs> I bought it to do a Will It Waffle video with Stuart, which I will hopefully, uh, when this virus all calms down, yeah, hopefully I'll get to see him again one day. But anyhow, it turns out waffles, you can't just make standard waffles in there. You can make lots of cool things, can't you? Can you? Yes! <laughs> what can you make? Well, what's your favourite thing in the whole world? Oh. Pepperoni? Yes! It is, but we didn't even practice this. I was like, oh, she's going to say something like unicorns. Yes, pepperoni. <laughs> and you can make uh, a pepperoni pizza in a waffle maker. Are you ready for this? Yes! Let's do it. Some pizza sauce. We've got some mozzarella cheese. We've got um, a pack of ready-made pizza dough and pepperoni. We can make, apparently, pizza waffles. This is actually the easiest out of the three we're doing, so let's give this an initial try and see how we get on. You ready? Yes. <laughs> right. Roll that out, mate. Yes. We're going to roll out our dough and get it into two squares uh, that should hopefully fit in, in the waffle maker. We might even make two pizzas at the same time, right? Okay. You keep going. Good girl. Yeah, so if we just take off this excess a little bit and if we just roll it <coughs> don't die on me just trying to get my steps up my just steps. trying to get your steps up yeah well you just got your steps up well done mate and in that time i've made us four little squares all right and in Look that time this. i did 360 set steps <laughs> All right, so you've already put one dollop down and then another one. So this is going to be the base. So kind of like these are more like sort of pizza waffle pockets, aren't they? Yeah. We don't want to be waffles. too much. But give it a little push around, mates, but leave a little edge on all of it, okay? For the crust. That's it. Yes, you got it. I've made so many pizzas in my life. I know the, what the drill is. Looking good? Yeah. It looks amazing. All right, now the pepperoni. Can we have a taste test? Yeah. I mean, it's actually salami, but... That good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just get like two bits on there. No, three. Three? All right. I'm the boss. <laughs> you, you are the boss, Chloe. So now what we do, Chloe, is we take the pizza dough, ready? Yeah. And we're gonna layer it over the top like this <gasps> and seal it, oh. seal it. See. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna seal it onto the other piece like that, okay? Can you do that? Yeah, that's it. I really think these are gonna explode. You could use a fork, which you've got out there, mate, and you're just gonna crimp it down, there you go. I think we're ready, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so, the waffle maker. You may open the vessel. All right, ready? So I'm just oiling these grates a little bit. All right, so apparently this red light, when it turns green, we can put the pizza waffles, which are waiting very patiently over there, in. And we'll see what happens, all right? I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh! It came on! Oh! oh. Steam! You see the steam? Did you see it? Yeah, I can still see it. And then we just close this down on it. And apparently, in about four to five minutes, Synchronized watches. Eleven. We should have pizza waffles. In five minutes, okay. It's only been 42 seconds. I need to do, <laughs> 42 seconds, I right? I need to be, I need to be doing my walking. You're walking? <gasps> oh, they're sizzling. Oh. I think something's burst. Oh my gosh. They're looking amazing! Let's keep going! Welcome to the interview with Chloe. Today I'll be interviewing the pizza waffles. How are you? <laughs> You're gonna interview some waffles? Yeah. How are you, Mr. Peter Waffle? Pe Peter Waffle. 
Hello, waffle expert number two. Hello. In preparation for the next waffle, which is hash brown waffles, hmm, huh, you need to grate some potatoes. <laughs> Chloe, it has been eight minutes. Operation commence magic waffle fingers. You have a look, I can't look, ready? Ah, it's hot, ah! Is it done? Yes, Did... look, look, look. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, can you see? Oh, yes, you can. Look, you've got the brown squares where the heat element has touched it, and this bit, this is the other bit of crust. It looks raw, but that is actually cooked. The heat has touched that too. I think we've done it. I don't know what the other side's gonna look like. Look at this! There we go. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, look, that's come out brilliantly. Look at that! Oh, should we check the other side? Yeah. Ooh! That's way it's, better than the other It's side. a lot neater, isn't it? Look at yeah. that! <laughs> This is still quite warm, so let's just have a little pull apart. Oh, look at that! That looks oh. so cool. That is what is known as a cheese pull, my friend. Look. <gasps> <laughs> right, look, there's a big bit of pepperoni. Yeah, that's mine. Give that 20 blows before you eat it. Oh. I love how she listens. <laughs> she means she really does listen, look. 20. <laughs> okay. Well, I had was a bit of pepperoni. That is really, really nice. It doesn't taste a pizza, it is more of a calzone. Mm -hmm. Oh, look oh, at that! That's so nice. Cheese pool in training. Mmm. Good, right? Yeah. Well, I think it's fair to say, waffle number one is a success. Now, hash brown waffles, which Phoebe's already started doing over there. All right, so whilst Phoebe's just finishing off those potatoes, you done, mate? Yeah. Nice work. I'm just getting two eggs and doing this little whiskey step. The so mixed herbs. Ooh, a little bit of pug salt and pepper. <clears throat> when you uh, are grating them like that, they got really wet, didn't they? Yeah. And as we said, that's the starch. You want to get them as dry as you can, get all the moisture out of it with some kitchen towel. Are you ready? Yes. This is going to be fun. This is going to be so fun. Okay. <clears throat> Gather it up, that's it. Oh! But you can already see it's trying to go through. Yeah, and just squeeze it. See? It's oh, it's coming uh. out. Yeah, you just got to squeeze that. See that? Ah! Ah! See? You don't have to do that, but you can. Go okay. on, go for it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just dry out the potatoes, all right? Ta-da! Look at that! Looks like a big potato burger. Nice oh, one, mate. A big hash brown. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, that bag is about 250 grams of cheese. We need about a third of that. Okay. This is some cheddar cheese. I love cheese. <laughs> and the best thing about this entire video, rather than frying an onion and stick it in there, I decided to get some dried onions. I didn't even look at the brand. Massive shout out, all right? Great Scott. Back to the future dried onions. Morty, great Scott! <laughs> Your kids are gonna love it, they said. No, no. But we're gonna just get a little shimmy. Are those in there but not only are they going to add that little onion flavor which of course we could dry up some that fry up some onions and dry them but it's going to give it a lovely crunch crunch yeah <laughs> all right we're whisking this through you might need to get your hands in a minute and just crunch it all together as one big mixture okay okay whilst you do that i'm going to get the waffle iron toaster thing ready for round two this time because we probably need to squish it into the plates um we are going to spray oil it and it's still a little warm anyway. But if we try and do it whilst it's red hot, we're gonna get waffle fingers. It actually looks really nice. It does, doesn't it? And it's something I'd eat. So gooey and all the juice. Make sure you get it right to the edges, folks. <laughs> That's how you used to say it. We're gonna turn it on. And it's gonna take a little bit longer with it being raw potato. And whilst that's happening, you can clean your hands and I'm gonna fry an egg and some bacon to go on top of it. Right, we, we've got to do magic waffle fingers, you ready? Okay. And I'm not going to let you look. Oh my gosh, they look like hash browns, especially mine. Oh my gosh! Mine looks They look amazing! Very, very brown. I'm just hoping they're cooked through. And that is extremely hot. So, with this one, you're right to fully load it like we did. That first one, we didn't go to the edges and it's just kind of found its way and done a little grid. Maximise it on this one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> it does it right over the yolk. Oh. I've never actually had this egg before. Well, no, because you tend to eat one egg once and then it's gone forever, mate. Kind of like a life. 
Um, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> Egg's weird. Yeah, the egg is weird, but that hash brown is amazing. Mm -hmm. Cook through the onion scent in there, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'd season it a bit more, but I think we just want to just blast through ketchup. Yeah. Last but not least, churro waffles. The ambassador's reception. Da, 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 da. Right, look. They look very nice. We've got starter. Yeah. We've got main. Yeah. And now it's pudding. Churros, cinnamon sugar, chocolate sauce, and all that. Oh my gosh. And a waffle. Great Scott. Great Scott. You alright? So, sorry. <laughs> I do that like all the time. Two eggs in a bowl like that, okay? So we're gonna do the wet ingredients first of all. Buttermilk. Oh, been using quite a lot of that recently on the uh, bunt cake. And if only we had some melted butter. Oh yeah, we do. We do? Amazing. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. melted butter's going in there. Look, this is naughty. It's like oh. yesterday's. Yesterday's what? Recipe. Like yesterday's recipe. What was that? I forgot what we did yesterday. Uh, butter spaghetti chicken. Thing. Oh, if you haven't seen, the, yeah, <laughs> that was naughty. And while you're whisking it through, we're gonna get some vanilla extract and do vanilla bay. Whoa. That was close. I think that's enough. Yep. Me too. There you go, just a little sprinkle. Whoa! Banner? Yes. Sorry. We're making batter, not the sea. <laughs> that balances out the vanilla extract that you put in. Yeah, it does. I'm going to shimmy in the flour. Ooh. We might need a bigger bowl, but we've used them all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a bit better. <laughs> a bit more space. So we might as well get the other dry ingredients in. In goes the sugar, and a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And that is the batter done. <sighs> right, we're preheating this waffle pan for one last time. So with this one, we are gonna let it preheat a little bit. Uh, and obviously with the baking powder and the bicarbonate of soda on it, it's gonna go uh, Just while it's preheating, a bowl of sugar with a teaspoon of cinnamon. Yeah. Mixy mix. Mix it. This will give us some cinnamon sugar to roll it in after, hopefully if it works. But this is ready for the batter. Alien. We filled it a bit too much. I bet the kids didn't have this problem, did they? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst that's finishing off, this is some double cream. We're going to shimmy in a little bit of cinnamon. And this is 200 grams of chocolate chips. Normal chocolate would be fine, but it's just going to melt a bit quicker for us. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my goodness, because we're going to melt this in the microwave. Okay. The, cre the cream is going to heat up and warm it. It's going to melt the chocolate chips. It's going to have that cinnamon twang and it's going to be gorgeous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It'll only work if we do this. It's what the girls did. Right, okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, whoa! They are done. Oh wow! And they're joined together. <laughs> they're joined together. But, they look good. although it pulled out a little bit, we scraped off the edge and I think we've got the most of it. I think so. Cinnamon sugar is ready, which they'll get rolled in, and this is the ganache. So that heat from the cream, you see that starting to break it down? <gasps> there we go. Just like that. Oh! Wow. Look at that. That looks amazing. Should we roll them in cinnamon sugar? Yes. It's like a radiator. It is. <laughs> so put it in the sugar? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So what we'll do is take the waffle, Oh my gosh, I'm going to rest it into about halfway up so you can still tell. Oh, oh, still good. tell that it's actually a waffle. Shake off any excess. Oh, you naughty thing. Now with it being a ganache, uh, we've actually got to chill this uh, to let it set on there. <laughs> Part of me doesn't want to, I just want to eat it right now. I know, I was thinking that, do we have to? The kids are over there. This, this is for the adults. We've put it in the fridge, it's chilled nicely, and it's clung to it. If you leave it even longer, it will set like a proper ganache, but we just want to eat it. Oh, wow. My total instinct then was to get down on one knee and re-propose to you again. <laughs> I just, I was like, this is like marriage. Oh my gosh. That's very good. I'm gonna try it on its own. <sighs> Great Scott dried onions, that's stonking. Remember folks, a waffle maker is for your life. 
not just for staying in your garage for a year. There we are then folks, our waffle machine's first attempt didn't actually make standard waffles. The pizza one was so gooey and gorgeous. The saltiness with the bacon, the eggy yolk running through that hash brown just worked a charm. And as you've just seen, these were rather delicious indeed. Okay, the chief waffle makers are back. Couldn't hold it from them. Is it good? Mm. Like the chocolate sauce? Mm. Good. What was your favourite one? Pizza. Pizza. And they're all good. Yeah, I mean they all really were good. Did you have a favourite? Oh, I like the hash brown with the yolk and the bacon. Oh. Oh, this one. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys have got an idea for when I eventually do get to take this waffle maker to Stuart uh, for a Willet waffle, something simple, maybe like a cupcake that we can put in there, press down, see if it'll work. Uh, he likes doing those videos with me and we like making them for you, so uh, I will get there one day. If not, we can do one here, can't we? Yeah. What would you do? I think we should put a pug in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say, yeah? Right, thanks for watching, guys. Honestly, they were all amazing, so give them a go, and if you do, send me a picture on social media. Bye! Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. I forgot we had a plug socket there. I know, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah? You're so eight years old you. and like plug sockets get you excited. Yeah. <laughs>